Britta. Yeah, and that winter storm warning is still in effect. And now as we start to transfer away from the snow and we're talking about those dangerously cold temperatures, you really have to keep your health and safety in mind. Now, if you have kids that want to see snow falling from the sky, your timeline is shrinking. So I want to put that out there because I know a lot of folks are, you know, sending us messages on Facebook. I want my kids to see snow. Well, this is your opportunity. Uh, we have a band of snow right over 45 that stretches across all of Harris County and then moves into Brazoria County. This is the back edge of the system. So once we have that band roll through, we're just going to have some light flurries. So this is really the end of what we are anticipating. You can see this one band of snow setting up from Fort Bend County into Brazoria County. That's a good swath of snow. So that could drop a good half an inch of snow as it continues to march its way across 288 and then it will continue off towards the Gulf Freeway. Heavy snow being tracked in Liberty County right now. So De Seta, also Liberty and Devers. That's where we have the snow coming down. Definitely had a good clip. You could pick up an additional half an inch of snow in Liberty County from that. And then it transfers to more of a light snow on the backside of the system, which is what you're experiencing in Walker County and Montgomery County. But Montgomery, Magnolia, you folks were one of those spots that had that thunder snow roll through about two to three o'clock this morning. Uh, this is a live look at our tower camera. Notice that the visibility is starting to drop each time we look at this camera. And it's because the wind is picking up behind this system. And that's going to be a big component for the weather story throughout the remainder of today. Right now, our temperatures at Bush Airport have already dropped with the Arctic driving. We're in the upper teens. This afternoon, we're not going to get above freezing. We're going to keep it in the 20s. So what is on the ground right now is going to be staying for the entire day. And then we are facing dangerously low temperatures tonight. They have issued a wind chill warning for southeast Texas. This is for the strong winds combining with the dangerously low temperatures. The reason why this is so key is that if you step outside with any exposed skin or even with one layer, you can get yourself into trouble very quickly. So if you are going to be taking your kids out today to experience the snow, please not only be careful of that layer of ice that is underneath the snow, but also be careful of the wind chill factor. Keep it short, 15 minute little trips out, bring them inside, and it's all about dress all about dressing in layers. If you lose power, you're watching us on your phone right now, you have to dress in a lot of layers. That is the only way to really keep your body temperature elevated and at a safe level.